compact sedan space has time and again held its own despite the shifting preference for SUVs. The Honda City is hands down the undisputed king here. But the re-entry of the Europeans rekindles the battle for supremacy. We left Hyundai Verna and Maruti Suzuki Sias out since both are due for an upgrade soon. The Volkswagen Virtus and the Skoda Slavia add a breath of fresh air in the compact sedan segment that has been dominated by the Honda City for more than two decades now. All three cars look stylish, are practical and come loaded to the brim with features. But the million dollar question is, should you buy either one of these when SUVs are the flavour of town? Hi, my name is Pratik Rakshad and today I'm going to help you decide which one of these should be your next addition to the garage. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever Car & Bike puts out a new automotive video. All three cars look spectacular. The Virtus has the whole Jetta vibe going on for it and we are glad that the car preserves the VW charm gracefully. Slavia is basically a baby Octavia with crystalline elements along with the butterfly grille at the front. And what can we say about the city? It has the most quintessential three box design. The RS inspired elements to the hybrid city add a whole new character. The city also benefits from LED setup for both its headlamps and fog lamps, while the other two profit from a projector setup. All three sit on 16-inch wheels with a unique design for the alloys. There's not much to separate these cars in the way they all look, but it's clearer on paper. The Virtus is the longest in the segment. In terms of width and height, the Slavia is at par with the Virtus, as both get an edge over the city. City also loses out on wheelbase by a healthy 51 mm. Inside is the intricate details that separate the three. The Virtus has the most attractive cabin. The gloss black dash and the contrasting colours for the seats are tastefully done. The Slavia's cabin has much more flair. The dashboard looks identical to the Virtus's but feels plush. The bronze band across the cabin is a pleasant touch. Both cars get a ventilation feature for front seats. But the VW gets a special mention for placing both switches on the driver's side of the gearbox for ease of access. A Slavia and Virtus test units get the larger 10.1 inch touchscreen, but the global crunch in components swaps it for a much smaller 8 inch screen. The digital instrument cluster is identical with ample information presented in different themes. The City EHEV carries the same layout as the standard version. The black and beige theme is soothing and the plastics are of slightly better quality. Soft touch materials are a plenty in the city, but the Slavia and the Virtus miss out on it altogether. The 8 inch touchscreen unit is basic, while the part digital instrument cluster is tweaked for the hybrid powertrain. All these three cars have a low stance, so seating is an extremely crucial element when purchasing a car in the compact sedan segment.
The Europeans are superior in almost every area, but the city benefits from marginally better legroom and knee room for the front passengers. Headroom though is identical for all cars. The city has cozier seats with a bench setup that can easily fit three adults. The other two can best accommodate two adults and a child. In terms of comfort, all three get well cushioned seats, ideal for long distance journeys. Ingress egress is quite smooth in all three cars. Both Virtus and the Slavia offer 521 liters, while the city has a boot space of 506 liters. The Europeans can expand the storage space to 1050 liters with a 60 40 split, while the city can't. Now, if you are craving for performance, then you have the Virtus and the Slavia, both in turbocharged petrol engines, two petrol engines. If you are a cost-conscious buyer, then you have the Honda City, which is the most fuel-efficient in the segment. Now, for the basis of this comparison, we have chosen the best-selling versions of the Europeans and the most fuel-efficient version of the Japanese. So, our test vehicles are the 1-litre TSI automatic versions of the Slavia and the Virtus and the EHEV of the Honda City. There's very little to separate the three cars when it comes to ride quality because all the three cars drive over potholes quite effortlessly. Uh, but in terms of suspension setup, all three cars are on the firmer side, but it is the city that offers a harsher ride, especially uh, for the rear passengers. In terms of NVH levels, all three cars are again equally stacked, but the Virtus has better damping than the other two cars, so it is more comfortable in the long run. Both the cars are confident around corners as well. The slick gearbox has precise shifts, almost like a mind reader. The city has a much more relaxed drive with a fair bit of performance. It's no slouch, mind you, but don't expect the urgency as the hybrid motor takes time to gain momentum. Now, fuel efficiency is an extremely crucial criteria when you speak of compact sedan segment and uh, during a time with uh, all the three cars the Slavia and the Virtus both returned uh, uh, efficiency of somewhere around 11 to 12 kmpl while the Honda City EHEV has a claimed efficiency return of 26.5 kmpl but during a time we've managed to take it somewhere around 16 to 17 kmpl which is actually a very good uh, thing with the city because it is a strong hybrid after all and of course it is one of the most fuel efficient cars in the country safety is paramount for all three manufacturers, but there's little to doubt who has an advantage here. The City EHEV is the only car in the segment to offer a full set of ADAS functionalities. The Slavia and the Virtus are right up there. Six airbags are standard across all three, along with the usual set of passive safety features. In terms of price, all three cars fall in the same range. The top spec versions of the Virtus and the Slavia are the most value for money. But the hybrid version is far superior in the long run. It is also the only one to offer diesel version in this shootout, in three manual trims that cost less than the Europeans and is also a near perfect alternative for the cost conscious buyer. To 
conclude, the Skoda Sclavia and the Volkswagen Virtus are the perfect driver's car. Nothing comes when you are choosing these two cars. The 1 litre TSI automatic version is a hoot. It's fun to drive, it's engaging, and the cabin has one of the best features to offer. Want a car with driving chops? Then either of these two cars would make a lovely addition to your garage. For the cost conscious buyer, though, we have the Honda City EHEV. It is one of the most safest and the most sensible buy. The strong hybrid powertrain, smart cabin, and performance that is at par with the Europeans, the Honda City EHEV is a well rounded package. 